Hey! Harold here! And according to the most top quality comment on my first ever video, I, the great Harold is spreading lies on that very video, and it is disgusting. Well that's according to Dalek 14 MC Mark 2, or Dalek 14 MC MK2, or Dale KMC 14 MK2, or just Dalek for short. Here, for your enjoyment you can read this top quality and long ass comment for yourself. Anyway, here is some highlight. Um, first of all, the F-35 can super cruise. You didn't even explain yourself. Literally, the only argument you had against it was, it doesn't count, sorry, but it doesn't check out. If you're going at Mach 1 or above without afterburners, that's super cruise by definition. Here is another one. Secondly, where were you when David Mujinda was trash talking the F-35? Most of the outlets who you claim are anti-Russian have been bashing American aircraft for years. And another highlight. Lastly, what does thrust to weight ratio have to do with being a fifth generation aircraft? And here is my favorite part. It's just like people claiming they are trolling whenever they get something wrong in order to hide the blatant stupidity. It's just dumb. That isn't so much of a highlight cause it's about three quarter of the comment. For the first highlight the short answer is... No. Regardless on how much you sugarcoat it, a dash of a mere 150 miles is not super cruise, no matter what your definition of super cruise is. The F-35 can't super cruise. And that's not some baseless do shit that I puke out of my mouth. It is according to the Air Force magazine, here is a quote of that article. Ahem, the F-35, while not technically a quote super cruising end quote aircraft, can maintain Mach 1.24 of 150 miles without using fuel gulping afterburner. Did you all catch that? Let me repeat. The F-35 while technically a super cruising aircraft. If it technically not a super cruising aircraft, then it's not a super cruising aircraft. It's as simple as that. It can only maintain a speed of 1.2 Mach for 150 miles. And here another quote from an article I got from Defense Issues. You can read it for yourself or article link in the description. And here's a quote from 1st Fighter Wing Commander Brigadier General Burton Field. Did you get all of that, Dalek? Here is how the F-35 quote-unquote super cruise turn on afterburner to achieve maximum speed of Mach 1.6, and then switching to drive thrust. After that, it takes 150 miles for the F-35 to decelerate to subsonic speed. Every goddamn fourth generation fighter can do that. Heck, even fucking MiG-21 can do that. Now you make me sound it like piss prey. Alright, moving on to the next highlight. I like this one. He said that most of my sources that I claim is not just anti-Russian. There are like only three I mentioned on that video. Business Insider, The Diplomat, and The National Interest. And the only one that I claim to be anti-Russian is The National Interest, which is true, regardless whether they also bash the F-35. Furthermore, I don't recall this video is about the F-35. Okay to the next one. Yes of course thrust to weight ratio has something to do with being a fifth generation fighter. One of the criteria of being a fifth generation fighter is super maneuverability. And one of the criteria of super maneuverability is the aircraft thrust to weight ratio must be greater than 1 to 1. But all of that aside I don't recall ever dismissing the F-35 as a 5th generation fighter. Now this is my most favorite part. Yay. You are implying that I just using trolling as an excuse to get away with saying something dumb and to hide my stupidity. Well I don't really have an answer for that. Cause it's priceless when he thinks I am just saying some random bullshit and it was really fun to see him defending F-35 super cruisability in the reply comment section. Anyways guys, thanks for wasting your life listening to me. And thank you Dalek for being a keyboard warrior on the comment section below.